February 13th, 1961. Wallace Lane, Virginia Maxey, and Mike Mike Sale, joint owners of the LM and B Rock Hounds Gym and Gift Shop in Olancha, California, are searching for geodes six miles outside of town. After collecting specimens the entire morning, they return home at lunch. The next day in the gift shop workroom, Mike is cutting open the geodes with his new diamond saw blade when out of nowhere, the saw blade snaps. Looking up to see what caused the problem, he says that instead of the usual cavity in the geode, there is a perfectly circular section of a very hard Hard white material similar to porcelain and in the middle of the porcelain cylinder is a two millimeter thick metal shaft. The three discoverers of the object start doing tests on the relic to try and figure out what it is. They find that the two millimeter metal shaft inside responds to a magnet and upon closer inspection they see that the outside seems to be filled with fossil shells and what seems to be some kind of nail. The finders know that this could be a very big find so they call in a geologist to verify the claims and after analyzing the object the geologist says that it is likely over 500,000 years old. Another expert is called in to x-ray the object which produces these images. Notably one of the x-rays is this famous photo which shows some kind of helix or spring at the end of this metal rod that's hidden within the crust of the geo. This information would show that this object was made by some kind of intelligent design, but also that it predates recorded human history by hundreds of thousands of years. This is the legend of the Koso artifact, one of the most famous out of place objects, objects which supposedly prove the existence of ancient civilizations or ancient aliens or ancient alien civilizations. You know, basically anything on History Channel after eight o'clock. Like, I'm not kidding. Here is actual Spock, Leonard Nimoy on History Channel talking about the Koso artifact. There are videos with millions of views on this platform discussing the theories around this object. And as you know, if something is on YouTube, it is 100% true. But you, the Galaxy Brain viewer who tuned into this video, you're probably wondering, is there any truth to this? Is there really a spark plug that is 500,000 years old? Well, much like the ring in Lord of the Rings, the Koso artifacts seem to have some kind of corrupting effect on its owners. Because while at the very beginning, the group was very willing to let the public come in to see the object, as time went on, they became more and more possessive of it. And by the late 60s, one of the original owners just eventually hid the object in his house and refused to allow anyone to see it. He did, however, put up a standing offer of $25,000 to buy the Koso artifact, an offer which, if you can believe it, no one took him up on. And with no one taking him up on the offer, the owners and the Koso artifact slowly drifted further and further away from public view until eventually they disappeared completely. It was at this time that the Koso artifact could have just become another arguing point on the internet for nut jobs to say that like this was definitely the spark plug to Socrates Prius. And it would have been that way if it wasn't for one man by the name of Pierre Stromberg. So in terms of the Koso artifact, Pierre is a pimp. <laughs> The boogeyman looks underneath his bed at night to check for Pierre. When everyone else had given up on the Koso artifact, Pierre said no. We are going to figure out what this thing actually is. One of the biggest theories that had always been thrown around about the object was that it was some kind of spark plug. No one had done any research into that area. So Pierre decided to go where no man has ever gone before and come back alive, the spark plug collectors of America. <laughs> Whenever Pierre first started contacting the collectors, there was actually quite a bit of pushback because the people just thought that he was like trolling them. But once they figured out that he was serious, they began sending him materials. Some of the most important were several 1920s champion brand spark plugs. One of the things that had stumped legions of investigators was this helix at the end of the rod in the original x-ray. It was this ring that caused many people to dismiss the idea that this was some kind of contemporary spark plug. Because this is what a time representative champion spark plug looks like. There is no helix or spiral at the end to match up with that original x-ray. But the big development that was brought forward by the collectors was that if you popped off the iron ending of this spark plug, you were left with what was called the brass top hat section. Here is the famous original Koso artifact x-ray, and here is the champion spark plug with the top popped off. Observant viewers may find these images similar. <laughs> The spark plug collectors, who are apparently such nerds that they even know the deterioration rates of the various elements of spark plugs, noted that the first thing to go in the circumstances that the Koso artifact would have been found in 
would have been the iron endings, which would have left just the brass top hat section. The spark plug revelation also brought up questions that have been previously ignored in the case, such as the legitimacy of the original dating of the outside geode. In the original claim where the geologist had said that the geode was over 500,000 years old, the geologist had never been named and the results had never been verified. There were also some environmental factors about the case that had been conveniently left out, such as the historic mining in the area where one of the machines likely would have used that type of spark plug. But with all that being said, what actually was the geode then? Geologists say that it was likely a concretion, which is a sediment buildup around a foreign object, and likely in this area, it would have originated from like flash flooding. Concretions are apparently like infamous for this exact type of behavior because they can produce like these symmetrical and perfect looking objects that look man-made, even though that they're actually completely natural. And with all the pieces coming together, Pierre was satisfied. He had cracked the case, except for one thing. The Koso artifact was still lost. Despite his best efforts to find the object, including in 1999, a nationwide search, nothing ever came up. So with no leads coming forward, Pierre put the case to rest. While he knew in his own mind he had cracked it, sometimes you can't actually hold the beast that you slayed. That is until April 12, 2018, when as Pierre was looking through his mail, he noticed that there was a name that he did not recognize. And inside, he received the information that he had been looking for for decades. One of the children of the original finders of the Koso artifact had heard about Pierre's work and they wanted to give him the final piece of the puzzle, the Koso artifact. The groups agreed to a mutual meeting place and time and on the agreed date, Pierre was presented with a small transparent cubicle box and encased in green styrofoam was the Koso artifact. As Pierre inspected the artifact, he immediately noticed something in the crust of the object. It was the nail from the original description all those years before. Pierre pulled out the disassembled champion spark plug that he had been sent by the collectors and immediately compared the two pieces. And he found that the threading and the diameter were exact matches. The nail that the original discoverers had found in the crust was in fact the brass top hat from a champion spark plug. It's at this point that you can really just see like explosions going on in the background. There's some kind of like Sigma edit, you know, for TikTok. I mean, Pierre's like kissing babies, million dollar bills are raining from the sky. Like it was mega, it was mega. Pierre then sent the artifact to the University of Washington where geologists confirmed this finding. Then he donated the Koso artifact to a Seattle museum where it was shown in an exhibit called what is reality? The Koso artifact is today remembered as one of the most famous out of place objects and a reminder that sometimes the most boring answer is the correct one. Pierre is presumed to be spending the rest of his days fanning himself with million dollar bills as the correct winner of life. Watch this video to find the spark plug to Socrates Prius.